What is good and welcome back to the Freestyle Trick Tip. My name is Mike Ostman and every week on this channel we cover some sort of a trick related to freestyle skateboarding. If you don't know, that's this stuff. I'm a bit of a fanboy when it comes to this kind of skateboarding. I've been doing it for like 14 years, which is making me feel really old today. Today we're talking about tricks that I want you guys to go out and try, and it's sort of an expansion on a previous trick tip that we've done. So today we're talking about variations on the rail flip and the easiest way for you to go about learning them. Rail flips also being known as primo flips, that is when you're sitting on the side of the board, this cell phone happens to also be my skateboard, and you're flipping the board around from that position. Now, there's so many different variants and so many different ways to approach them, but there are two key things to keep in mind to really make the process of learning rail flips much easier. So if you haven't already figured out how to get into the rail stand, into the primo stance, you should check out this trick tip right here, or right here, I think. Man, I don't know anymore. That will give you the sort of basic foundation for this trick set. Now, the first way we'll talk about flipping out of the rail is the straight flip. Now this trick works by having your front foot over the wheel and your back foot on some portion of the tail or nose flicking the board. So you'll be jumping off of your front foot while flicking down and back. Every rail flip trick operates by having the board flip down and back with your back foot. Whether you're doing a straight rail flip, a varial rail flip, a 360 rail flip, rails to rails, rails to cross foot, rails to Casper, whatever it is. That's how it works. Keeping those factors in mind, how much you flip down, how much you flip back, and also where your foot stands on the tail or nose will determine how the board rotates. So for the straight rail flip, you'll want to have your back foot very close to the wheels. In past videos, I've referred to the sweet spot on the tail. This is the section that gets the perfect flip or the most consistent flip in the direction that you want the board to rotate. For the straight rail flip, I find that having my foot closer to the wheels creates less leverage. It keeps the board flipping straight and like a regular kickflip rather than doing a varial rotation. Now, in addition to that, you won't be flipping the board back so much as you'll be flipping it down. Now, if you know my skating, you know that some of my favorite tricks are rail to rails and specifically the straight rail to rail. Now, that is a natural progression from the straight rail flip to sort of get your timing down, flip the board slightly more and position your feet to land on the wheels. A lot of people think this trick is really, really difficult. And at the end of the day, it's just a timing trick. The majority of the trick of the trick is just picking your feet up at the right time and setting them back down at the right time. So let's say you've mastered the rail straight flip. The next thing that you can progress into is the varial rail flip. That's the single varial rail flip. So the board will be flipping in the kickflip direction. However, it will also be doing a 180 shove it rotation. Now we're going back to those same three principles we talked about last time. The amount of downward force you put on the board, the amount of backward force you put on the board, and where your foot sits on the tail. I like to have my back foot slightly closer to the end of the tail. Not all the way at the end because you'll end up throwing the board super far in like a 360 flip thing, which we'll get to later. But kind of in the halfway point between where the wheels sit and where the edge of the tail sits. Now with every board, the sweet spot is a little bit different and you'll have to play around with that. To start, I would suggest putting your foot smack dab in the middle of the tail to get the correct rotation. You'll be doing less of a downward flick and more of a backward flick, that is to pull the board around and to take advantage of that leverage you have on the board. Jump a little bit more off of your front foot, pick up your knees and try to aim for the bolts. Just like every other trick we talk about on here, you can go out and learn this right now. Go and do it. And just like the straight rail flip, you can take this and start doing it rail to rail. Honestly, I am very bad at this version. Sam Tabor turned me back onto it a while ago because he can do them like every time, but they are possible and you can go out and pull these off if you are getting better and better at the varial rail flip. My personal favorite is the varial double rail flip. I do it in almost all of my contest runs and there's just so many variations you can do with that specific trick. And with that, we move on to the 360 rail flip. 
Same idea, it's pretty straightforward. I do mine with a double flip as well as a 360 shove it rotation. Seems intimidating. You just gotta be prepared. The 360 rail flip is a bit more dynamic than the varial or the straight rail flip. Again, going back to those three principles, having my foot almost at the edge of the tail, or in my case, my nose, allows me to get more shove it force, more rotational force on the board for that 360 rotation. So I'm going to be relying on that backwards flick to get the board flipping and spinning, which is okay because I'll have my feet in the air longer, I'll be jumping higher and flicking harder to get the board to rotate the way I want it to. This one's a little bit wilder. Pick up my knees high, I bring them down hard over the bolts to hopefully stop the rotation as cleanly as possible. And if you're better than me and you're going out there and just crushing it on a daily basis, you can definitely go out and learn 360 flip to rail. I personally am not that good at those and I didn't want to battle that one for this trick tip, truth be told. Maybe in the future we'll throw it out there. Maybe I'll have it for my new video part coming out next month or next year or I don't know, in 10 years, whenever I finish it. But yeah, stay tuned for that. This is just the tip of the iceberg for rail flips, but those three principles for rail flip mechanics can go so far. Whether you're doing rails to rails, rails back to the deck, rails to Casper, rails to truck, whatever the combo is, having an idea of where to put your foot on the tail, how much to flip downward and how much to flip backwards can really change the game and change your approach to these tricks. Hope you enjoyed this one. If you wanna see more, be sure to subscribe. Hit that bell button so you get notifications because I post two times a week now. Be sure to film yourself or take a photo of yourself doing this trick. Post it on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. Tag me here. Tag the freestyle trick tip and I will be reposting at least one person doing this trick. I wanna see you guys do this. I wanna see you going out there and knocking this out. Guys and girls, all of y'all, go out, do it, show me. I'm stoked and we'll see you next time. Keep dancing and uh, peace.